In this tip of the day, let's take a look at 1CNC hybrid modeling. Now, hybrid modeling is very powerful in that you can combine surfaces and solids to create a single component. Let me demonstrate. Let's start by creating surfaces. I'm going to head over to the Command Manager, go into our Surfaces option, and why don't we start with a cross-sectional surface. So I'm going to select my first cross-section by left-clicking the start, select the arrow direction, and then the end with the left click. When we're done selecting that cross section, we can right hand mouse click. Let's head back over here. Same thing for this cross section. We're going to left click the start, left click the direction, left click the end, and when we're done, we can right hand mouse click and right hand mouse click one more time to finish the command. Very nice. All right, let's create another cross sectional surface at the bottom here using these two lines. So we're going to left click, left click the direction, and then right click. Left click, left click the direction, right click, and then to finish the command, right click one more time. Excellent. All right, now let's create a surface to cap off this end. To do that, let's head back over to the Command Manager and let's use this option called Surface from Curves. I'm just going to take my cursor and left click that loop right there and then right click to finish. Very good. All right, now that we have our surfaces created, let's create our solid model. So back into the Command Manager, we'll quickly go into our Extrude Tools, Extrude Curves. I'm going to left click this outside loop, right click and pull it down and snap that vertice right there with the left click. Now what we can do next is combine both the solid model and the surfaces together. Now remember right now we have one solid model and one, two, three individual surfaces. Let's combine these now by heading back over to the Command Manager going into our model operations and select Union. From there, 1CNC has joined both the solid model and the surfaces together into one component. Now, one technique that I recommend doing, just as good housekeeping, is after you've done something like this, it's always good to use this tool right here called Remove Inner Surfaces. We can take our cursor and left click, and that will get rid of any surfaces that were left over after we perform the union. At this point, we can start to use our solid model features. How about a fillet? Let's head back over here. Let's go into fillet. How about a 250 thousandths fillet on that edge and that edge right there? We'll right hand mouse click and there we go. Let's perform an extrude cut now. Extrude cut. I'm going to grab that inside loop and just pull it down right about there and left click. At the same time, while we're in the command, we can grab this outside feature, pull it in and then left click. And when we're done, we can right hand mouse click. Very, very nice. Now we no longer need that wireframe geometry, so we can select that by color. We're going to select all the dark blue geometry, click OK, and then hit the delete key on the keyboard. Very nice. So there's a great example of one CNC hybrid modeling. It's very easy to do, and it's a very powerful feature. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.